Hi. Um, I want you to please take a moment and look around you. I want you to think of where you're sitting in, in this room in relation to other people, in relation to the rest of the room, and in the relation to myself. Now I want you to think about what you had for lunch before coming here, if you had lunch. Did you have something healthy? Did you have something not so healthy? Did you go with people that you know? Did you go by yourself? Or did you go to the same place that you always go to, to have the same thing that you have every day for lunch? My research focuses on trying to understand why people do the things they do. If it's because of who they are, of who they know, or what they've done in the past. And of course you're all thinking, well, it depends. And yes, it depends. And so what I'm trying to look at is what does it depend on? It turns out that statistically is very difficult. I would say that it's almost impossible to determine what influences someone to do something. If it's, again, who you are or what you know and the people that surround you. My thesis focuses on trying to establish the statistical requirements to say, to be able to say something about why we do the things that we do. This image here comes from a research that was done 10 years ago that followed a whole group of people and they looked at their, their friends, what they ate and uh, the body mass index. And what you see is that, that in the span of 10 or 15, uh, 25 years, people with similar behavior tended up to bunch up and group with each other. And the yellow points are people who are slightly or more than slightly overweight and the, group of the uh, green dots are people who are not overweight. And what you can see is that people kind of grouped together in the same behavior. And so you could say that overweight people end up hanging, hanging out with overweight people. The question is, why? And so the name of my thesis is Causal Inferential Dynamic Network Analysis for Public Health, which is a whole bunch of things. And so it's causal because I'm trying to look at a causal link between what influences people and all the people that's actually being influenced. Inferential, it's because I want to say something more about what we kind of observe with what we actually observe. Dynamic, it's because we look at people in, through different moments in time. Network analysis is actually the main topic of what I do. I look at networks and I look at networks of people and their connections and their interactions. And for public health is because we want to develop uh, an intervention in public health that might be able to say something about how we can improve people's lives. Thank you.